This is DM Foss and today's video is a comparison of carry belts. The next belt by Blade Tech and the Core Essentials carry belt. So let's take a closer look and see which one's better. Both Blade Tech and Core offer different kinds of belts. Um, these are the EDC belts. These are leather. They offer the nylon web tactical style and dress belts. So make sure when you're ordering a EDC belt that that's what you get and you don't get a dress belt. Uh, the core, when you find them on Amazon, um, those are the dress belts. They say specifically on them um, they are not gun belts. When you buy either of these belts, they come with a set, strap, and buckle combination. But for either of these, you can order additional buckles or additional straps or just order them separately to make up what you want and switch them out and swap them around um, within each brand to have a setup that you like. So if we take a closer look, um, they both have leather uppers. The Core Essential has a leather back. The, the next belt has a nylon weave backing. And that's what give its, gives the next belt its stiffness. The core has a plastic liner that runs through the uh, strap, and that's what give, gives it its stiffness. And it's stiffer than the next belt. If we compare the buckles, they're very similar in their construction and the way they work. In order to size your belt, um, there's sizing marks with that list the size of your waist and you pick the one that matches cut the belt off there and you can do them with a pair of scissors or a knife and this little piece here opens up and it's kind of levered and there's teeth in the bottom so when you fold it forward those teeth grab into the belt and then there's two set screws the core uses the exact same system When you ratchet the belt, you slide it into the buckle, and the teeth catch on this little prong. And there's both belts have quarter inch increments uh, for adjustment, which is very nice because with a standard belt, normally they're holes that are an inch apart, and this allows you to get pretty much the perfect fit. And to release it, there's a little lever that you push and it releases that prong and slides out. On the next belt, the release is close in to the buckle so it's tight, it's out of the way, but being so close and small, sometimes it's hard to fiddle with to get. Whereas the core, it sticks out more and it's very easy to activate to adjust or remove your belt. The uh, next belt has this little skid pad where it rubs up against your stomach, um, helps prevent wear. The core does not have that and there's wear starting on the finish right on this tube here. I don't think it's a big issue but uh, it is wearing a little bit. My normal EDC is just a single clip holster that I carry my uh, P30 in. In six months of wearing the core, there's no, there's no wear that you can see. Um, no visual, uh, you don't feel anything. On the next belt, you don't see any wear, but you can feel just a little bit of deformation where the clip sits on this belt. But there's no cracking, um, no marring. I don't think it's a, a large issue. And I bought the next belt mainly to use with my leather holster. So I had a brown belt to go with a brown holster. 
So overall, I'd say you're fine if you choose either of these belts. I still lean a little bit more towards the core belt because of that extra stiffness, but there's nothing wrong with the next belt. Um, when they're in your pants, that extra stiffness is negligible. You don't really notice it. So if you're looking for um, an everyday carry belt, these are two very good options to look at. And thanks for watching.